Welcome to Microsoft Invoicing is back to haunt us one last time. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, back in 2017, 18 ish, um, Microsoft wanted to have some sort of invoicing capability in, in Office. Um, probably feeling the, um, the pressure from a lot of the EC accounting solutions. Um, and they built something called Microsoft Invoicing that you could get with Microsoft uh, I don't know, Business Premium. I, I can't even remember what the SKU is called, uh, but the one called Business Premium, you would get you could get Microsoft Invoicing. Uh, and Microsoft Invoicing was this little app where you could have your customers and then you could invoice them. Um, and the UI of Microsoft invoicing looked a lot like Business Central um, because it was Business Central. Um, and uh, but 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 what we saw was actually not Business Central the way we use it. It, it clearly was another app built on the platform. Um, Microsoft invoicing lived for a year or two. It was actually quite quite a short lifespan it had. And then Microsoft pulled in again. Um, and that's it. Right. They did something, they tried it, and, and now why are we even talking about this uh, today, five years later? Well, we're talking about this because the way Microsoft Invoicing was implemented was actually inside Business Central. I think the noble idea was that people could start up with invoicing and then they could click, oh, let me go go upgrade to full accounting. And then suddenly they had a, uh, a Business Central with all their customers and the invoices and uh, this could be a way to actually get more business central customers. Um, but that never materialized. But Microsoft invoicing, the code for it is actually inside business central. Um, so if we go and look at the base app today, um, and we look at, let's do it like this all things here and then we go name is something about wow well, 365 we can see that there's a bunch of objects that is either named o365 or they're named bc space o365 all these that was the invoicing app. So instead of building a a standalone base app, uh, this was just and, and and this is not this is actually not fair. Uh, but uh, it was kind of jammed into into Business Central, um, and now it's obsolete. So with BC twenty four, it's gone. Uh, so again. Why are we having this discussion? We have this discussion because before we got report extension, before a lot of things, one of the most common and and you no, know, I even did a video about this years ago. Uh, you know, if you wanted to make customizations to certain objects, um, you had to make a copy of it, um, and everybody did. And one of the most common objects to copy was, and this is actually the, the, the fun part here, and the app we're looking at, that's eFocus's internal customization. And of course, everybody makes a copy of the sales invoice. Uh, and the sales invoice happened to have just a bit of Office 3, you see, 0365 says invoice management. So apparently 
you know, it was the unholy that it was not really a complete standalone invoicing. So uh, some of the tables were used, some of the report were used, reused, and clearly we at some point in time. Uh, removed whatever sales invoice management, but I never actually removed the variable. So now I get the very helpful. Uh, we also did an email uh, in video of this on, on the email of um, of the emails you get when I, I did a wow. I did a video on the emails we get uh, that something is not compatible with the next version, and here it says no. Post sales invoice. Code unit 0365 cell invoice management is missing. Um, and I look at the amount of emails I get from all, all our tenants, and this is this is a common thing that sure we should probably have fixed this years ago, but there are many things we sh we should have fixed years ago. Uh, but now we have to because Microsoft invoicing is gone from version 24. So all the objects that I we saw here, if I, I do this again, 365. All these objects are gone. Right, well, now my, my filter is too wide here now. So so for sure that there, there's a bunch of stuff that is not gone. But the one that says O365, or BC0365 uh, are gone. Um, so that's why you have to uh, to fix some of your your old copies of Microsoft Code because the invoicing app was still in there and it kind of didn't help anybody. But at this point, now it's it's gone, gone. I actually think the idea was pretty cool. I, I, without knowing all the details, it's hard to uh, to judge execution. From my perspective, it wasn't really executed that well. Uh, 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 but the idea of having some sort of free entry, you get Office and then you can create an invoice and then upgrade to the full thing afterwards. I think that's a good idea. And and actually, I, I still think that's a good idea. Um, creating a complete new app inside Business Central uh, seems like the wrong effort. Uh, I, 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 my guess would have been that spending the same effort on trimming down uh, the onboarding automation set up uh, what needs to be set up for for stuff to work would probably be better spent in the long run because we would benefit from that in other cases but again i have no idea about the details of this i can only look at it from my perspective anyway that is why office invoicing microsoft invoicing somehow managed to uh, to pop up once again. Hopefully this is the last time. Uh, if you want to see some uh, more ale hacking, go check out this video. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.